What is the craziest encounter of rich kid syndrome that you have experienced? I lived with five guys and I was the only one whose parents weren't millionaires, not close at all. They never cleaned. About once a month I would deep clean the house but two days later there was garbage and food on the floor. I found out they all told their parents the poor kid made all the messes when one of their moms came by to scream at me. A guy I met in my early 20s was the richest person I've ever known. His dad was CFO for a big bank, but died when my friend was 14. He grew up in a massive mansion, had his rent paid for in a luxury rental building, and had unlimited funds for drugs. Eventually, his mom forced him to go to rehab, which he did for a couple of months. One day, while he was at rehab, my roommate got a call from him. He said he's outside and didn't know where else to go. He had been cut off from his money, knew that we had an extra room, and asked if he could stay with us while he learned basic life skills, getting a job, buying groceries, cleaning, budgeting, etc. We let him, against our better judgment. About a month in, he had managed to stay sober, keep a job, and not be such a parasitic piece of sh. His mum thought he was doing better too, so she reconnected him to his money. His whole attitude and demeanor completely changed. All of a sudden it's I don't have to stay in this shitty apartment, living like I'm poor. I don't even have to stop doing drugs. I've got my money back. He left right before rent was due and basically told us to F ourselves. Two months later, he had the exact same situation happen. His mom cut him off again, forced him to go to rehab. He left again and called us, but this time we figured he'd rather not live in our shitty apartment living like he's poor. Not scaling like most of the ones on here. I grew up attending a private school in a developing country so a lot of my classmates were in the 1% of the country. Whenever we'd be swimming in the school pool one friend of ours in particular would always remark that swimming is more fun if the pool hears a current or waves. To which I had no idea what he was talking about and generally thought he was just being imaginative. One day he invited me over to his house for swimming and he had a 50 foot indoor pool that generated a current, waves. He wasn't lying. They are a lot more fun. A consulting manager I worked with was literally stifler. Even looked like him. He was a Harvard grad, dad was an exec at a huge consulting firm. Smart, but incredibly ditzy and trying really hard to be normal. He walked into work one morning and asked one of his trainees if he, they got paid this week because he literally couldn't see the difference in his bank account. My college roommate's mom gave him fling $1,400 for the weekend just randomly. He blew through the whole thing by Saturday asked his mom for more money and was screaming at her because she promised $1,400 for the weekend and he spent most of what she gave him on Friday which isn't a part of the weekend. <coughs> Knew a trust fund girl whose dad gave her the money to start a company. She lost it when she went on vacation for six months and forgot she was supposed to pay her employees all the time. She assumed they would not get paid for six months and be there when she got back. I quizzed her on this for a few minutes and it was clear she had no idea what a job was. Good friend of mine, my dad bought me a house and now I can't buy a house of my own. Stamp duties here are insane to prevent rich people from driving up property prices. Although I have to say that I really respect my friend very much for his desire to actually step out of his dad's shadow. Look up Corona Del Mar High School cheating scandal, happened at my school. Parents paid around 50k apiece to have a tutor bug the school computers and change students grades. They all lawyered up big time when it came out and all the kids got off free and all made it into their top three schools. Edit, I would also like to add that this made the news, and all the parents whined that their children were innocent and just had a bad tutor. Had a girl I went to school with total for brand new cars, 
think Range Rover, Escalade, etc. I was also in a class with this girl when the teacher handed out papers that needed to be signed by a parent, and she signed it herself and tried to turn it in the same period as it was handed out and freaked out when the teacher wouldn't accept it. Kids who would talk sh and pick fights and then turn around and say if you touch me my dad will sue. There are a lot more. Girl I went to high school with got a Mercedes for her 16th birthday. Pitched and moaned about the fact that she didn't get a Lexus, because her name was Lexi and she thought it would be so ooh ooh cool. For Lexi to drive a Lexus with a custom license plate saying Lexi. Her parents did cave and buy her a Lexus for her 17th birthday. My college roommates threw a massive tantrum, like on the floor screaming and crying, because her parents got her reused big ass truck for graduation. It was a 2013 truck with less than 10k miles that was fully upgraded, loaded with every possible add-on. We graduated in 2014... The car was maybe a year old. She already had a 2009 Range Rover. This happened a couple of weeks ago at the Infiniti dealership. I was in the waiting room with a very well-dressed lady for our loaner cars. She left the waiting room to look at her loaner and came back crying. She said she drives a fully loaded QX80 and they gave her a QX60 with nothing in it. I said sorry that happened and asked how long she was going to have the loaner for. She said a couple of hours. I wanted to tell her to suck it up but instead I sat the quiet thinking how life must be easy for her to cry over a loner car. A Saudi guy in the UK got in a crash, with light damage to one side of brand's new Mercedes. He called for one of his assistants to come get him, even though the car was fully drivable. My friend rolled up on call with his tow truck and asked the guy where he wanted the Merc towed. The guy gave him the keys and said keep it, I don't want it. I actually have a bit of a different story than most of these. Met a friend in Icon 101 on my first day. Pretty humble kid and all around good guy so we got along well and were in the same study group. Turns out, kid's dad owned like a supermarket chain in HK and his mum is a managing director at a hedge fund on mainland China and they were SH loaded. He never let it show though and I only found out after about 3-4 months of knowing him. His parents put him in boarding school when he was a kid but he said it was actually pretty tough since the school gave zero Fs about privilege. Classes were like one teacher to every three kid and they were hardcore. They eventually sent him overseas for high school in this really upscale place in North Carolina for four years. He was one of the most well-mannered kid I knew in college and super humble. Got straight A's throughout college and made me pay attention to since I was prone to slacking. I ended up doing an internship in my junior year with his mum's fund and she wrote me a letter of recommendation later on to help me get a job. We still keep in touch occasionally and he's working for a bank in HK now pretty much following his mum's footsteps still come by NY to visit every year and we usually have dinner with our souls. It's really weird cause I see these kids at school driving Audis slash BMWs and this kid is just there to study like everyone else even though his parents might be the most loaded people I've seen at the school. Girl got a two year old Range Rover for her 17th. Now 20 and still doesn't have her license sits unused in their four car garage. I used to have a friend who would constantly say I love when my dad gives me money. And if I ask for a certain amount of money my parents always give me $50 extra. This girl then bought an apartment boasting about it on Facebook and how proud she was of herself how at 23 she was able to afford a home at such a young age all on her own still makes me want to face plant into a pile of jagged rocks. A friend I met at UNI flew from Auckland to London for a week to go shopping. Clothes were cheaper in London, so to him it made sense. His parents were from Singapore and had no idea just how much cheaper cars were in New Zealand. So when he said he needed $70,000 for a Toyota Corolla they gave him the money and he bought a used BMW M3. 
When he went home for the summer he asked if I could mind the car for him, given his dad had pretty much cut him off at that point he just said I had to pay for insurance on it and I could treat it like my own. But as a 19 year sharing a flat and barely getting by there was no way I could cover the cost of insurance, let alone petrol. A girl in my school was surprised by her parents in the school's parking lot with a new BMW. A freaking BMW. Everyone who is out is basically watching this go down and she starts crying. At first we are all thinking it's because she's so happy but then she runs back into the school. Apparently they were supposed to show up earlier, I'm assuming when there would be more students to witness the surprise. I felt bad for the dad because he looked totally embarrassed and sad about it. You know in his head he's like, I created this monster. Like and subscribe for more content. And remember to check out Reddit.